Hello and welcome to part 38 of the series on how to create a chess game with React.js. In this part we are going to implement the 50 move rule. The 50 move rule states that a player can claim a draw in chess if no one moves a pawn. In this case a move consists of each player moving a piece once. In order to implement that we are going to open up our board.ts and inside of here we want to scroll up to the constructor and we want to add a new property to the board. Turns with no capture or pawn move which will be a number and this number will also be provided in the constructor so we say this number and then down here we want to say this dot turns with no capture or pawn move is equal to turns with no capture or pawn move like so we also want to scroll down to here and we want to pass it in as a parameter for the new board that we create and we want to pass it in the this dot turns with no capture or palm move, like so. And then we also want to go into our constants.ts. And right here we also need to pass in the parameter for our board. So right here we say zero. If we go to the right side and we close this window, we see our application. And if we refresh the page, we see that we have a clean board. Let's go ahead and try logging this variable each time we play a move. So right here we have a method for playing the move, which should be down here. Yes. And then right here we want to create a log at the end, which is here. Console.log this dot turns with no capture or palm move. And now if we save the zip and if we now go to our page and then open up the console. And if we now play a pawn, we see that we get the uh, number zero right here. And then if we move another pawn, we see that we get zero again. And that is because we are not doing anything with this variable yet. So let's say that every turn, the turn with no capture or pawn move increases. So let's add a line before here. And we say this that turns with no capture or pawn move plus plus like so. And now if we save it up and then refresh the page, if we move this pawn, we see a one down here. If we move this pawn, we see a 2. So basically, this is now the same as the total turns variable. However, this one will be one number behind. And we also want to make some additional rules for when this number will be reset, because we don't want to keep counting always. As you can see right now, when we move pieces, it's just incrementing. And as you can see, we are already at number 6. That shouldn't be true, because we are moving pawns. And we're also taking pieces. Well, we haven't yet. But if we move this pawn right here and move the queen to there, we have taken a piece. However, it just says that we have nine turns with no capture or pawn move. That's not true. So we want to reset this variable. When do, do we want to reset it? We want to reset this variable when we move a pawn or when we capture a piece. When do we move a pawn? Well, that one is really easy. Because right here in our play move, we get a couple of parameters. En passant, valid move, play piece, destination. And in our played move, or in our play piece, we can see which type of piece it is. So at the bottom, right here, we want to say if played piece dot is pawn. Then we want to say this dot turns with no capture or pawn move is equal to zero. Because we want to reset it. Let's save it up and if we now refresh the page and move our horse, we get one because we have one turn with no capture or power move. If we move this horse, we get a two because we now have two turns with no capture or power move. What if we move this pawn up here? We get zero because we have zero turns with no capture or power move because we have just moved this pawn right here. What if we move this horse? Then we start counting again from one because this is the first turn that we don't have a pawn or taken a piece. If we now move a pawn again, you can see that it goes back to zero. And if we move this pawn right here, it stays at zero. And we can see that by the little tool on the right side that this has been logged twice. Great, so that is one thing. However, we also want to reset it when we have taken a piece. When have we taken a piece? We have taken a piece when we do something like this. As you can see, there is now one piece less. Or if we do something like this, 
there is also one piece less on the board right now. How do we know that in our code? Well, we are in the right method, we are in the play move method, and inside this method we can keep track of how many pieces there are on the board. If we console.log pieces before move and then say this dot board this dot pieces dot length like so and then we want to concatenate this by adding a plus and then what if we copy over this console.log and then also log this after we have played our move pieces after move save it up and for now let's just comment out the console.log turns with no capture or pawn move so we don't see a lot in the console if we now refresh the page and we move this pawn we see pieces before move 32 pieces after move 32 that's true because we still have the same amount of pieces what if we move this horse right here it's still 32 and 32 if we move this pawn right here it's the same but what happens if we move the horse upon this pawn if we move our horse on this pawn or our knight on this pawn that means that there is one less piece so if we drop it and then go to our console down here we see that we had 32 pieces before we did the move and after we did the move we had 31 and that is because this knight right here has taken one pawn let's play a couple more moves we now see that it is consequently outputting 31 pieces because we have one less piece and if we then take this knight, we see that we have 30 pieces after this move. Great, so now we know how we can see if a piece has been taken. We are only logging it. Instead of logging it, we want to do something with it. If we go up here, we want to store this in a variable. And then we want to say const pieces before move is equal to this.pieces.length and this will be a number and then we want to do down here is we want to extend this if statement right now we are only checking if the play piece is a pawn then we want to reset the turns with no capture or pawn move however we also want to do that if we have less pieces than we had before so we say or this dot pieces dot length is smaller than pieces before move this is basically the same as we did before we can log it once more down here console.log this.pieces.length plus and then a comma in between plus pieces before move and if we save it up and refresh the page we see 32 comma 32 32 comma 32 and then if we take this pawn we see 31 comma 32 so right here we have 31 pieces after the move and the pieces before move variable holds 32 pieces so by saying hey if we have less pieces than we had before the move which is right here we have now 31 instead of 32 then we want to reset the 50 move rule we want to set it to zero again great so let's remove the console log right here and we can move the console log down here as well and now we want to do something with this variable we want to do something right here here we have a method check for draw and we do a lot of logic we do something if we have not enough pieces or we do something if we have a threefold repetition let's see where this method is getting called it's up here let's add a new method this dot check for 50 move group and then we are going to define this method because as you can see it says hey this method does not exist on the board which is right so down here we want to say check for 50 move rule is equal to a void and this void will then check for the 50 move rule check for the 50 move rule and then right here we want to say if this that turns with no capture or palm move is bigger than 50 then we want to say this dot draw is equal to true all right let's refresh the page and let's also log the variable that we have right here 
this still turns with no capture or power move and now if we refresh the page we see zero we see one we see two we see three and we see zero we see zero we see one then we have let's see let's capture something zero again as you can see it's counting up perfectly however it takes a lot to go up to 50 so let's just reduce this to five all right let's refresh the page and now if we move this knight to here and this knight there we have two three four and if we now move this knight to here we haven't taken any pieces in the last five moves and we haven't moved any pawns so if we drop this knight right here we see that we are at five right now and now if we move this knight to here we see that we get the it's a draw model there was still one thing wrong with it what was wrong well right here we check if the turns with no capture or pawn move is bigger than five then we say draw is true however it is not bigger than five if it is five or bigger then the draw should be true so we want to add an equal sign so now this will return true when it is five or bigger however we don't want to do five we want to make it 50 and then well i'm just going to play 50 moves and i'll be back in a second here we have it at the bottom you can see we have 50 move with no capture or palm move all the way up from here and as you can see we now have a draw great let's remove the console lock and if we now save it up and then refresh the page we have now created a chess game where we have implemented the 50 move rule i want to thank you for watching i hope you could follow along leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode bye